Hi guys, I thought I'd just do a quick video review of the Firefox 6 internet browser which has been out for a, a week or so but I've just got back from holiday so I've just downloaded it all uh, yesterday. Um, first impressions are it seems to be a bit faster to start up and it's got quite a few new uh, features and stuff so I'll open up Firefox 6, we'll see what the new features are, I'll explain them to you and you can also see how, see how quickly it um, opens up because I've got a previous video that has Firefox 5 opening up as well. Um, I'll then hopefully if we've got enough time I'll compare it to Google Chrome so we can see if there's any speed difference now uh, this is going to be the Firefox 6 um, and it's going to be against the uh, Chrome 14 uh, beta so if I just um, open up Chrome, uh, Mozilla Firefox first now that seems to be quite a lot faster than uh, Firefox 5 so that's a good start um, I've got rid of all the uh, cookies and stuff like that so when we get when we do it against Chrome, it will be a pretty fair uh, comparison. The first good feature, if I go, if you type in, just type it in, I think, if you type in about uh, colon permissions, it has a list of all the sites that have your uh, personal details, so your passwords. So, for example, if you go on to UK, uh, UKS card, it has a password there, there, and you can obviously allow it, or you can specifically block single websites from having your password you'll also obviously say share location allow block or always ask if you want it to have cookies um, open pop-up windows or even maintain offline storage you can even ask it to forget about this site and so you know if you want to for example allow Amazon to store your password because it's a load of jumble of numbers and stuff and you won't be able to remember it but you remember your password for Vimeo or something I don't know then you can just block it so it's, that's a good feature. A, another new feature, if you type, if we go to YouTube, it seems to be very fast by the way, and click on a random video. You can see there's a lot of crap after the word YouTube, like watch, top videos, sports, all these numbers here. But if you want to just quickly check that the site is authentic, you can just, you know, you can see here, well, I can't highlight it, it's the YouTube part is actually bolded. Um, compared with the other stuff, so you can just quickly say, you know, this is on YouTube. And this is definitely important when, for example, I go on my emails. I've got an eBay, I've got an eBay account, and sometimes I get those. Your password has been locked. Um, please type it in again by going on this site. You know, going on eBay, you go on it, and it's obviously fake. But if you're not sure, you can check in the top, and usually, <coughs> excuse me, usually it has uh, a lot of crap, like literally like an entire URL bar full of random junk because it isn't you know not just eBay slash signing or something like that so definitely authentic so that's another good one um, I say a bad thing uh, you know a bit of a disappointment is if you go on to, I, th I think it's been out for roughly a week now but if I go on to add-ons extensions yeah some of the stuff is already updated like webmail adblock is um, updated but I just disabled it because I've disabled it in Chrome so it's more fair when we compare the speed of the two I'm not really bothered about Java or Win uh, WinZip but Avas I like using you know to check about the site security and stuff and it's not compatible it's been about a week so it's a bit annoying and unfortunately because Firefox has, has decided to update its browser every couple of months or so like Chrome does it's not going it's going to be quite a while until every uh, add-on is supported and sometimes if it's you know quick between each each uh, number like Firefox 5 Firefox 6 Firefox, Firefox 7 it might not actually upload it, you know do it at all until it comes to a stable release or something like that, so that's a bit of a disappointment. But it's still a very good browser. So if I uh, put these, minimise them, put them next to each other, you can see uh, if I click on Google Chrome here, see how quickly Chrome opens compared to with uh, Firefox. And that was probably slightly quicker, but I mean, it, if you went on my previous video, you can see that Firefox was quite a lot st slower when it was in uh, Firefox 5. So Firefox uh, 6 seems to have actually closed the gap a bit. So if, we, uh, if I clear my history, so I've only got those two anyway, just clear everything, so it's a bit more fair. If I type in YouTube here, oh, I'll have to clear this history as well, blimey. Uh, history, if I had to do it, <laughs> clear browsing data. Right, so I type in YouTube there, and then YouTube here. I'll do Firefox first. 
Now that was actually, I think, that was probably Firefox, even though I pressed it first, it seems to have loaded the advert quite a lot before Chrome did. Let's do another one, Daily Mail. Rubbish paper, by the way, but still got lots of pictures. I'll do Chrome first this time. That was definitely Chrome that time. Let's do eBay. I'll do Firefox first. Oh, and again, oh wait, it still hasn't loaded properly. Oh, that loaded the, the the majority of the site loaded quicker on uh, Firefox, but this bit here down here didn't actually load it, uh, until like a second after. So I'd say that's probably a bit of a tire because I'm not really bothered about that kind of thing. And if we do a few quick ones, if we do a HTML5 test, Chrome gets three, four, one, and thirteen bonus points, and Firefox gets 313. So, you know, I, I'm not sure if that's an improvement over Firefox 5. I didn't actually check it, but I suspect it is. It, even if it's not, it's still very close. And I think, and the Baidu browser that I um, reviewed last time got like 20. So you can tell how good these ones are compared with most of the other, you know, boring competition kind of thing. So, yeah, um, that's it really. I'll, if you want me to do any other kind of video or any kind of news or anything like that you want me to cover, then just write a comment. And if you think I was, you know, good or bad, just write a comment saying why. Um, I'll see you next time.